Hello, everybody. My name is Billy. Today, you are starting a new lesson called The New Normal. You will be talking about how you have got a new attitude. I have been instructed to show you a video, but first, a song. <coughs> When ya know, I do not know this one. When ya know, sa sa when ya baladi sa da da. You are an amazing basketball player. You're gonna kill it. You're a beast. You're gonna own these losers. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm ready to play. I'm about to school you losers. Pass me the rock. Really? Pass me the basketball. That's what real ball players call it. Let's go. Better get out of my kitchen. It's my house. Oh yeah, that's right. Sissy face, what you gonna do? Whoop, whoop! You think you guard me? You think you got me? What? That's your mama calling you dreaming! What? Girl. Oh, okay. Knock your wig up. Woo! Give my, give my change. You know what? I gotta go. Y'all are a bunch of losers. You play like girls. Man, he's mean. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Pastor Jeff and welcome to Activate Kids Online. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Today, we are talking about how we've got a new attitude. And you know what? We've got Skittles here to show us what's up about that. Check this video out. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? up? Oh yeah, what's up everybody? It's me, the SKI to the double T L E S, Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are getting started on a brand new series. It's called The New Normal. It's all about how you and I need to go to the next level in our relationship with God. So today, we are talking about going to the next level in our attitude. So anytime somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them, I'm taking my attitude to the next level. Yeah, baby, your attitude towards others needs to be just like Jesus. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them, I'm taking my attitude to the next level. And that's what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my savior. Skittles, out, baby, yeah. Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Roger, I play some rock music, and today we've got a Bible story. But before I do that, I gotta tell you something. We finally managed to play a rock Band song. But the special thing is, you see this right here? This one, this orange one? We played it with the orange one. And we got 36% right on. Well, anyway, today I got a Bible story. And we're talking again about Jesus. That's right, and an issue that he had with the Pharisees. Now, back then, the normal was kind of crazy. In fact, we're going to talk about that right now. See, Jesus was talking to a group of people, and some Pharisees walked up, and they were going to tell him about something that was normal back in their day. They brought with them a woman, and this woman, she was doing some pretty bad stuff. See, this woman was being the girlfriend to somebody that was already married. That's not some good stuff right there. That's pretty bad. And the Pharisees looked at Jesus and said, well, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to stone her. Now, 
Stoning someone back then meant that they would throw rocks at them until they died. That is crazy stuff. Now, Jesus took a second, and instead of shouting something out about what he thought they should do, he decided to be quiet for a moment. And he was quiet, he bent down, and he started drawing in the sand. We don't know what he was drawing. Could have been stick figures, could have been words. We don't know. But when he got back up, he said something. He said, all right, the one in here that has not sinned, they can throw the first stone. And you know what that meant? That meant nobody was throwing any stones. That's right. No stones today to throw. Because the fact of the matter is, we've all sinned. We've all done something wrong. And the Pharisees were trying to put Jesus in a position where he felt trapped. Well, Jesus took that moment to define the new normal. That maybe, just maybe, we shouldn't be doing that kind of thing to people. Well, my name's Roger. I got a show to play. My mom's going to sit in on our game session. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to hear some applause for once. Crowd on the game always boos me. So, I will catch you next time. My name is Norm Nerd, and I love learning new stuff, especially when it comes from the Bible. I've been putting together today's power verse, and today's power verse is... Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Ephesians 4.2 Eureka! What an amazing power verse! All right, girls! It is time for you to say it with me. So stand up. Come on, stand. On the count of three. One, two, three. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Ephesians 4.2. Ah, pretty good, girls. Have a seat, have a seat, pretty good. Boys, it is time for you to say it with me on the count of three. Stand up. One, two, three. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Ephesians 4.2. Boys and girls, I'm a really intelligent guy. I mean, look at me. I wear glasses. And just because I've got a massive brain doesn't mean I think I'm better than anybody else. I'm a sinner, just like everybody else. That's what today's Powerverse is all about. We shouldn't think that we're better than anybody else because in the end, we all need God's love and forgiveness. And now that you know that, I want everybody to stand up and say the power verse with me. On the count of three. One, two, three. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Ephesians 4.2. Eureka! That was a fantastic job. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of scientific statistics to sort out. I'll see you next time with another Powerverse. This is Norm Nerd and my new pocket protector. Remember, knowledge is power. See you later. So today we're talking about what it means to have a new attitude. And sometimes it's hard to have a new attitude, right? Because we get so set in our old ways and we want to do things how we've always done them before. Just look at how the Pharisees were. They were wanting to continue on the way that they had always been doing things. But that's not what it's about. We're supposed to be more like Jesus. So the first thing I want you guys to realize is humble means I put others first. Now it's really easy to say, you know what? I want to be in front. I want to be first. Think about it at school, right? 
We even have cards to determine who's gonna be first in line because we love being first. Nobody celebrates getting a second place trophy. I mean, they do, it's called a silver medal, but really everybody wants the first, right? Everybody wants to be in first place. But when we are putting Jesus in charge of our life, we're saying, God, we want to put others before us. And we're okay to step back a little bit and not be as important because we know that you want to reach out to people and we should be loving them as well. That brings us to our second point, which is gentle means I choose not to hurt others. Now, it's really easy sometimes, right, to use our words to hurt people. In fact, the old normal says, you know what, I'm going to say what I want to say. And if it hurts people, then it hurts people. Does not really matter? But that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be compassionate and show love and kindness to other people. Think about back to our story again. Jesus had an opportunity to lash out and say some pretty mean things to the Pharisees, right? He could have said whatever he wanted because they had come to him to try and trap him. But he didn't. He took that second and he bent down in the sand and he thought about what he was going to say. Sometimes that's what we need to do as well. We need to take a second and think about what we're going to say. Because sometimes our first instinct is to say something mean. So let's take that breath and think about it. The third thing I want you guys to remember is, patience means I am slow to become angry. Now, this one's the hardest one, even for me. It's really easy to get mad when somebody does something wrong to you. I mean, even in the Bible, Jesus was upset that he flipped tables. Now, there's not necessarily anything wrong with being angry, but it's how we act in our anger. When we lash out and are mean towards other people, that's not the right thing to do. Sometimes what we need to do is like we said before, take a deep breath and be patient. Again, let's look back at our story. Jesus was probably upset that those people came, the Pharisees, and they interrupted his teaching to bring him this problem just to try and trick him and trap him into something. But did he lash out? No, of course not. That's not what Jesus does. And that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to take that breath and think of a calm response to be able to deal with the problems that we have. So as we move forward talking about this new normal, let's remember these three things that we're supposed to be humble and we're supposed to put others first. And we're not supposed to lash out in anger anytime something doesn't go our way. Instead, let's be like Jesus and let's think about it as we move forward with this new normal. Dear Lord, help me to do my best and give you glory. Amen. Hey girls, I couldn't help but notice you girls playing basketball over there. I used to be a coach. You mind if I give you a couple tips? Yeah, sure, come on. All right, let's go. Well, hey, I gotta go. See you later, okay? Hey, wait, you were just talking. Would you wanna be our coach? I'd love to, that'd be awesome. Tell you what, meet you here tomorrow, four o'clock. Give me some, mm. So, with that in mind, I wanna take a second and I wanna pray with you guys. God, thank you for this day that you've given us. Thank you for this chance to learn about you. And I pray that as we start to change from our old normal to our new normal, that we will remember everything that you've done for us. And in turn, we'll try to show the same love and compassion you've given to us, to other people. Thank you for this day that you've given us. In your name we pray, amen. All right, now take a look at this brain drain. Brain drain.
not be our old selves. Instead, let's go towards the new normal. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.